big opportunities in life have to be seized. Uh, we don't do very many things, but when we get the chance to do something that's right and big, we've got to do it. And even to, to do it in a small scale is just as big a mistake almost as not doing it at all. I mean. What are these big opportunities that Warren Buffett is speaking of, and what does he mean that it's important to start small? Well, what if I told you that you could finally stop worrying about money? In fact, what if I told you that you could build real wealth by literally doing nothing at all, even to the point that you'd never have to work a single day in your life ever again? Turns out there's a really simple way to do this, and Warren Buffett has taken advantage of it, making him now the fifth richest person in the world. If you want to learn this method, then keep watching because it all starts with this. Dividend investing is one of the most searched ways to make passive income for a few reasons. One reason is that you don't need huge capital to start, and you can actually start with very little, and two is that it has the potential to make you extremely wealthy. Warren Buffett has several stocks that he owns through Berkshire Hathaway that pay out dividends. Look what he has to say about it. The, um, well, the answer is I do believe in dividends in, in a great many situations, including many of the ones that companies in which we own stock. Right from his very mouth, Buffett says he believes in dividends, and it's time for you to start believing in them too. But how exactly do you get started? I'm sure many of you are looking forward to this point that you can make something along the lines of $40,000 per year, or $3,300 a month, right? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you and how you can get it done. Before that though, you need to understand there are two types of income. The first is active income, and the second is passive income. The first income is money that you work hard for and earn through a job. Hard earned money. The second is passive income, which is money made through your money working for you. The key here is to use your active income to grow your passive income. The way this works is that you take a little bit of your paycheck every two weeks and place it into the, you guessed it, dividend paying stocks. Wait a second. Some of you may be wondering about real estate. The truth is that real estate does generate good passive income and appreciates in value, but you need huge sums of capital to get started, whereas with dividends, you need $100 or less. However, there are options for you lovers of real estate, which I'll talk about later in the video, so stay tuned. But with public companies, people do, a lot of people do buy stocks to obtain dividends and they hope for regularity and that there's a signaling aspect to it and everything. As Buffett says here, we purchase dividend stocks so we can make a consistent cash flow, so let's find out just how much you need to have a majority of your living expenses covered. Let's use Coca-Cola for example. This company, which Warren Buffett is a proud supporter of and has an incredible number of shares in, is a company that pretty much everyone knows. It's a stable company with tons of excess cash. A company like this has three options when it comes to excess cash. Either save it for emergencies, reinvest it into the company, or pay it out in dividends to shareholders. Since Coca-Cola is so well established, using the money for anything but giving out their money to shareholders is a waste. Look at what Warren Buffett has to say about this tactic regarding another company he owns. Seize Candy has paid everything virtually out to us that they've earned because they do not have the ability within Seize Candy to use large sums which they earn uh, intelligently in their business. You heard that right. The most effective way for a company to use its profits sometimes is just to pay it out to the shareholders. Continuing on, Coca-Cola has a long track record of dividend payouts. As of right now, it has a dividend yield of 3.04% annually. Dividends are usually paid out every quarter, meaning you'll get payments four times a year, which is nice. But what amount can you expect to get from Coca-Cola if you have, let's say, one share of the company? As it stands, if you bought one share of Coca-Cola, you'd get paid $1.84 in one year. That's pretty lame. But what if you had 10 shares? Now, that number turns to $18.40 per year. And what about $1,000? Now you're looking at $1,840 a year. And to make up to $3,300 a month, you'd need a total of $1.295 million invested. This probably thinks you want to give up, but don't. I'll show you how you can speed up the process getting to this number in a really easy way later in the video. The great part is that there are some huge upsides to owning a stock. 
Firstly, is that a company doesn't stay still, and a good company like Coca-Cola will constantly appreciate in value. As a company grows, so does the money you have invested, and the dividend grows with it too. For example, the dividend payout for Coca-Cola in 2013 was only 0.28 cents per share, and now it's 0.46, which is almost double. And that's not mentioning the fact that the share price has risen 60% since 2013. To ease your worries, listen to this quote from Warren Buffett on investing. If you want the recipe for getting rich in the stock market, here it is. Find stocks with above average appreciation potential and safe and growing dividends and buy them at attractive prices. It's as simple as that. Now, you may be wondering if there are some other options that could speed up the process. Fortunately for you, there is. Hard earned money. Let's look at some of the stocks that Warren Buffett currently owns and their dividend rates. I've already touched on Coke, so let's look at some others. Citigroup Bank currently has a dividend rate of 4.5%. This means that you would need about $875,000 if you want to make $40,000 per year or $3,300 per month. Another company is Vitesse Energy, which has a current dividend yield of 8.68% meaning you would need $450,000 to generate $40,000 a year. You're probably thinking that the best way to make this work is to find the highest paying dividend stocks, right? Well, that's not exactly the best choice. You do want to make the most value for your dollar, but it needs to be done right. The test about whether to pay dividends is whether you can con continue to create more than $1 of value for every dollar you retain. While the high yields seem super attractive, more often than not, these high yields aren't sustainable by companies. More often than not, these companies are on the verge of bankruptcy. Imagine that you have a bunch of money in a company with a really high dividend yield of 10%. You're happily getting your massive payouts, but sometime in the future, the company goes totally bankrupt due to bad financial management. This is not your fault, but you end up losing all your money. The moral of the story is that while high dividends may seem attractive now, they're usually hiding something that they don't want people to know. If you ever get lost, remember this quote from Warren Buffett. Time is the friend of the wonderful company, the enemy of the mediocre. But what if you don't want to invest in stocks because of the effort? There's an option for you too. ETFs are essentially a selected basket of stocks that are sold as one group. There are all sorts of different ETFs, but I'll focus on two for now. One is VYMI, which primarily focuses on companies that pay out high dividends. At the time of this video, it pays a dividend yield of 4.53%, meaning you'd need $875,000 to reach that $40,000 a year mark. Another option is FDVV which has a dividend yield of 3.8%, meaning that you would need $1,035,000 to get $40,000 a year. While ETFs need a lot less research, you should still take a moment to check the companies listed with a quick Google search. This will give you an idea of what you can expect from it. There's one more option for you investors out there, especially those interested in real estate. You can invest in REITs, which are Real Estate Investment Trusts. REITs are very similar to stocks in that they can be bought and sold on the stock market and are companies. There are some major differences though. Firstly, these companies only invest in real estate, meaning you get indirect exposure to it. Secondly, they are required by law to pay 90% of their profits to shareholders. This means high dividend payouts for you. Some good REITs are XLRE, which has a dividend yield of 7.44%. So, if you want to make $40,000 a year, then you'd need a total of $520,000. Another option is an iShares Cohen & Steers REIT ETF, which has a current yield of 5.86%, meaning that you would need $665,000 to make $3,300 a month. You're probably wondering how you can grow your money to half a million dollars or more, right? I did say that you could, so let me show you how. Let's continue the example with Coca-Cola. I said that they have a current dividend yield of 3.04%, and you would need something like $1.295 million to make $40,000 a year. 
However, that's assuming that you put that much money into buying shares today. But that's not how dividend investing works. That's not how Warren Buffett did it, and that's not how you should do it either. Dividend investing is a marathon, but you can make great time doing two things. The first is that you continuously put money into buying dividend-paying stocks. That means every month you want to put money into buying shares of Coca-Cola. Let's say you start with 10 shares of Coca-Cola and buy 10 shares again every single month. Over the course of 10 years, you would have an annual dividend income of $3,009, which is okay. If you were to increase the number of shares you bought to 20 a month instead of 10, then you could expect $5,975 dividend yield. However, there's one more component that can help you grow this money way faster, and that's the power of compounding interest. Instead of just taking the cash of your dividends out, put that money back into the dividend-paying stock to grow your money even faster. This is called DRIP. So what difference can you expect from DRIP if you're purchasing 20 shares of Coca-Cola a month for 10 years and reinvesting dividends? Suddenly, you make an extra $1,000 a month from putting your dividends back into the stock, which is essentially doing nothing. And don't forget that the price of your assets are constantly growing, meaning you have a huge nest egg that already may be worth close to half a million dollars. As a quick note, dividends are considered income, meaning that they are considered taxable income if you reinvest your dividends. This isn't something to discourage you at all, but just so you know when tax season comes around. So, to live off your dividends, you need to follow the following steps. Number one, decide what to invest in and whether that be stocks, ETFs, or REITs. Number two, anytime you get paid, you need to automatically invest it into your stocks. Number three, make sure to always reinvest your dividend money. This way, you can make the money you earn from your money working for you to make even more money. Number four, Lastly, remember that you have to pay taxes on dividends that you make. While it may start slow and feel like a long process, before you know it, you'll be making tons of money through dividends and living the life you've always dreamed of.